right now. This is what he said. He said, blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, right? That walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hand. Happy shall thy be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be fruitful like the vine on the side of a house. Thy children like all the plants round about the table. Behold, that thus shall the man who feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace shall be upon the children of God. Hallelujah. I wonder if we have worshipers here tonight that wants the heavens to be open and to pour out upon us in this place. We're not putting a limit on what God can do, but we're saying, God, have your perfect will in your way. We want your spirit to break out over this congregation. We want you to take a hold of our worship, God, and magnify it in the heavens tonight.
impossible need. You have come to the right place because you serve a God that works in the impossibilities. He knows how to make something out of nothing. We're going to sing this bridge again that says moving power, wonders, signs, and miracles. Because the Bible says when these things begin to happen, the kingdom of God is at hand. And we are seeing that. But we don't want to just see it out there. We want to see it in here. Amen? So if I have any believers that want to see it, why don't you help us worship and say, moving power, wonders, signs, and miracles in your presence. Nothing is. We are in the presence of the Holy God moving power, wonders, signs, and miracles. It's in your presence. Nothing is. Nothing is. If we can all just make that declaration tonight together. Because if we speak it, we will believe it. Amen. When we believe it, we will see it. Amen. So I wonder as a church body, if we can say, move in power, wonders, signs, and miracles on the count of three. One, two, three. Move in power, wonders, signs, and miracles. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands up. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We're clapping for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody and tell them you're in the right place and I'm in the right place. Praise God. And we're going to have a heavenly time here tonight. Hallelujah, where, where divinity touches humanity. I said, where divinity touches humanity. I said, where divinity touches humanity. That's the place I want to be. I want to be where God is. I want to be where God comes down. He touches. He moves. He delivers. 
He sets free. He blesses. Amen. He gives direction. That's the place I want to be. Amen. How about you? Amen. Amen. You may be seated for a moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. As we continue to enter into praise and worship. But right now I have a couple of special announce announcements. Amen. Uh, it's been a whole year. It's been a whole year, a little bit better than a year. Amen. That brother and sister Gamboa were united in holy matrimony. Amen. Where are they at? Would you stand, please? Amen. They came, they came to us uh, the very first time. The very first time they came to us, they came to us during Exodus. It was during Exodus when they came. And uh, from that point on, they decided to stay. Praise God. And also, uh, uh, just, and, and then we, we united them in marriage. And, and they've been here ever since. They've been a great help to the church. And we appreciate them so very much. God bless you, brother and sister Gamboa. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Also, amen, I'd like to I'll recognize another anniversary that, is, that, that uh, I believe is today, right? Amen. Brother and Sister Rodriguez, amen. And then Raul Rodriguez and, and Sister Alex, amen. Would you stand, Sister Alex, amen. And then there she is, Brother Raul's back there. Wave your hand, Brother Raul. Amen. We appreciate this young couple very much. I mean, they came to us a few years ago, and uh, they have been a great help to us, amen, in many different aspects in the church, and we appreciate them. And praise God. We're glad to have you guys. We are really glad to have both of you. Amen. Working with us for the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Let's congratulate these two couples. Praise God. Praise God. There's nothing like spending your anniversaries in the house of the Lord. Amen. We know it's your anniversary time. Amen. But, but always, you know, if my anniversary falls on a Sunday, I'm going to be in church. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, my wife and I have, have already got accustomed to ourselves or custom ourselves to when, when it's our anniversary, we either plan before or plan right after uh, uh, because it's our celebration, right? Amen. Amen. And uh, I, I don't know if the, the, I don't think the day is a magic day. You understand what I'm talking about? Amen. Uh, but, but we do need to celebrate it. We do need to celebrate the years that we've been together and what God has done and what how God has blessed us. So I appreciate you, Brother Raul, for being an example in that. Amen, Sister Alex. Thank you for being an example. Because we got to seek first the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God. And, you know, if, if you'd like to, I'm not saying come to church on your anniversary. If you want to take your, your, your time out during that time, that's okay, too. Amen. Amen. But uh, we appreciate having... Uh, celebrating with people that that love God, Amen, and uh, they're married in the church and they're growing their family here, and we want to be able to do that in Jesus' name, Amen. First Lady is going to come and she's going to bring us up to date in our announcements, Amen. Let's listen very attentively because we got some great things happening. <laughs> 